Hello and in this video we are going to continue our discussion on finding the perimeter with a special emphasis on regular shapes and just to remind you the regular shapes are those shapes which have same lengths for all the sides. Now let us start our discussion with the simplest regular shape that can come to our mind which is that of a square. Now we have the square and you know that if you want to find out the perimeter we need to go through the periphery of the square once. Now uh, since it is a square so we need to know the length of one of the sides. So let us just say that the length uh, L okay we just denote the length of one of the sides by L so L is the length of side length of side of the square now what when we want to find out perimeter we just pick up a point on the square and then we travel along the boundary till we reach the starting point back so in this case we will go through all the four sides so now this is so let us just try to find out the perimeter So first when we go from let us say that point A to point B we will cover a length L then from B we go to point C so this is also L so we have L then we go from point C to point D where again the length is L so I'm just adding one more L over here and then from D when I go back to point A I have length L so again I add L over here so essentially what I get is 4 times L. So the length L being same for all the sides it makes our work a lot more easier. So we can just summarize that the perimeter of a square is nothing but the 4 times its the length of its sides. Now let us continue this discussion and uh, take another figure which is an equilateral triangle. Now in equilateral triangle we know that the, three, the length of the three sides these three sides are going to be equal. In this case let us take a letter let us say X just for change so all the three lengths are going to be the same and now if I want to find out the perimeter as we discussed earlier I'll just pick up this point from this point onwards I measure the length of this line segment which is going to be X then from here to I come here to this point okay so then that is again X and then when we come back to our starting point we have again covered a distance of x so the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 3x or if you, if you choose l it will be 3l whatever is the letter that you choose to represent the length of that so size is 3 and length is x now let us try to find out the perimeter of a regular pentagon in a similar way. Now since it's a regular which means that these sides, this is side number 1, 2, 3, the side number 4 and the side number 5. These 5 are going to have the same length. Now in this case let us assume that the length of a side of a regular pentagon is L. We will come back to L. So these it's L. And what essentially we do is we pick up a point. This time I'm going to pick up this point over here. And then we traverse along the boundary of this regular pentagon till we reach to the point. So we have to cover 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 times L. So we just go L first, then L, L, L and L. So it is going to be 5 times L or the perimeter of a regular pentagon is 5 times its length. So now you should have started seeing a pattern emerging now in terms of trying to find out the perimeter of regular shapes. If you just take the example of square we have four sides the perimeter is four times its length. For the equilateral triangle we have the length as x and the perimeter is three times the length. Whereas that in case of perimeter of regular pentagon we have 5 times its length. Similarly, the same rule can be applied to hexagon or any other regular shape. That is, we can generalize this rule 
for finding perimeter as shown below that is for an n sided regular polygon it could be any number of sides could be eight sides nine sides ten sides whatever you have a regular polygon the perimeter can be found as n into length of the side where n is nothing but the number of sides which form the polygon so this is the rule that you can apply for regular shapes straight away to find out the perimeter of that polygon with that we end our discussion on finding out the perimeter for regular shapes